ahead and get started with our demo webinar. Um, again, thank you everyone for joining. Today we will be talking about Front for Logistics. This is a live demo webinar and it's really focused on how we can transform your shipper and carrier operations. My name is Teresa and I am part of the product marketing team and I'm joined here by Cindy who is part of the solutions architect team and she'll be the one running us through the demo and showing us all the really cool workflows. Cool. Um, so we've actually had the pleasure of collaborating with more than 503 PLs and over 8,000 customers to really help design efficient workflows that don't sacrifice high quality and customer service. And so across all of these customers, we've actually worked with a lot of freight brokers just like you. So for example, we have customers like Sender, MNX, and SD's forwarding worldwide. And just in a moment, Cindy's going to talk through uh, the demo talk track and show you exactly how some of these customers deploy front and some of the ROI pieces that they've gotten as well. And so in partnering with all of these three PLs, we've actually noticed a common set of operational problems. The first being that message volume is out of control. We know that you're frequently working out of shared inboxes, distribution lists, CCs, and reply alls. And so this ultimately leads to a lot of inbox chaos and message overload. And so the tough thing is that you can't go without all of these distribution lists, but in case if there's a message that comes through, this often leads to a lot of missed messages, slow replies, and duplicate responses. Then we also see a lot of messy workflows and handoffs. We know that in the logistics space, there's a lot, a lot of coordination that has to happen in real time. But because of all this message overload, this often results in disjointed handoffs, a lot of context switching between a lot of different scattered systems and tools just to fulfill a shipment request. And then last but not least, we often find that speed and service quality are at odds. This is because that there is a lack of visibility into communications. Email wasn't really built for that team collaboration aspect, and it doesn't really give you the metrics that you need to measure and improve based on team and agent performance. And so without that data, it's really hard to improve. And a lot of times we see that it's really a best guess effort in terms of saying, hey, my team is really overloaded, but not really having the hard data to back that up. And so what we really believe is that your teams shouldn't have to compromise. You should be able to deliver exceptional service for your customers and also optimize operational efficiency for your team. And with Front, you're, all, you're able to have both of those. And so really Front is a customer operations platform that helps logistics companies transform uh, your fundamental business operations in three ways. The first being able to categorize and route inbound messages to the right person. The second being able to resolve with speed and resolve uh, shipment issues faster. And then, as I mentioned, being able to measure team performance and customer satisfaction. And so Front is a new way to really route, resolve, and measure communication and streamline all of your customer operations and communication workflows. Um, it really helps to tame the message chaos by layering in workflow automation and built-in collaboration on top of email so that one, it's familiar, and that two, your teams are able to manage more shipments and close more quotes faster. And so with that, we are going to spend a majority of the time in the demo today. Um, here's a quick run through of some of the workflows that Cindy's going to touch on, a quick preview. Um, so we're going to be covering how to route a spot quote request, how to manage a contract freight request, uh, what to do and how Front helps in coordinating a shipment update. Um, we'll also showcase um, receiving a delay update via SMS. And then last but not least, as I mentioned, we're going to dive into some of the analytics pieces to really show how you can use data to understand team and agent performance. And so with that, I'm going to hand it over to Cindy. All right, let me share my screen. Um, because this is a webinar, so I'm not able to make this conversational. But if questions come up while I'm demoing, please feel free to drop them in the chat. And then when I finish, we can go back and answer all those questions that you guys have. But this is what Front looks like. Front is your customer operations platform. It helps you tame email chaos, as well as streamline shipper and carrier communications. Front also layers in different workflow automations and has built-in collaboration tools that we'll see in this demo to help you manage more shipments and also close quotes faster than ever. And so before jumping into the exact workflows that were outlined on Teresa's slide deck, wanted to first give everyone a lay of the land and orientation to what we're looking at. 
So you'll notice upon first glance that front kind of looks and feels like your email provider today, whether that's Outlook or Gmail, and that's intentional as it helps with your teams adopting the product. However, it has all those powerful behind the scene automations as well. Firstly, we'll look at the personal inbox, which I have connected. So instead of having to log into my Gmail, I can just check my personal inbox directly in front here. Beneath that, we have our shared workspaces. So here I have brought in my sales at, inbox, quotes at, operations at. And aside from email, if you have other channels in which your customers reach out to you by, whether that's SMS or WhatsApp, or even a live chat on your website, you can bring that into front and have it all organized in a single place. To the right, we have our conversation list. In the center, we have a full message view. And over to the rightmost edge, we have all the different integrations and plugins that are available to you. There are some that are simple plug and play where you just log in and be able to access the integration. And you can also build on top of our open API to bring in your most commonly used apps directly onto front. And we'll see exactly what that looks like a little later in this demo. However, let's first start off here with managing a quote request. So on my website, I've actually have a web form where customers can fill this out if they're requesting a quote. That feeds into this sales at inbox and this is what we're looking at here. So when it comes to spot rate requests, the faster a quote can get returned to the customer, the more likely we are to win their business. And so it's really important for the team and managers to have a holistic view of what's happening and the activity that's going on in the inbox. So when it comes to these messages here, initially, they will come into the inbox as unassigned, meaning there's no clear owner of this message. However, I can go ahead and manually assign this to different teammates in order to get, make them be the owner of the conversation. However, with Front, I've been mentioning this automated process, we can actually automate the assignment process like we see here. So in this case, this message was assigned to me through a rule for round robining. What this means now is that there's a clear owner to this conversation, which is myself in this case. There's no more second guessing about who's responding to which emails, and in the worst case, sending two different spot rate quotes to the same email. You'll also notice in these conversations, there are tags. So here we have the truckload tag, there's the expedited tag as well. So I can go ahead and manually come here, select particular tags to categorize my conversations, but you probably guessed it, I can also lean on Front's automations in order to make this process more streamlined. So for example here, you can see the truckload tag was actually added through a rule. Now this is super helpful because not only can you gain analytics from these tags, but also as the owner of these emails, as I'm working through my conversation list, I can quickly see what the conversation is about before even opening the email. So you can see them over here on the right side of the conversation. Now, let's just say that the shipper actually accepts the rate quote and needs to get the shipment scheduled. So we see here he needs a treatment, shipment to arrive by Thursday. In front, we work off of this idea of a single master copy. So this copy, I can simply just drag and move it to the operations team who is responsible for the scheduling. This idea of a master copy is great because it stops email clutter, you no need to forward the email to someone else. Instead, you can just drag and drop that master copy to where it needs to go. So that was a process of manually moving it to the right team. You guessed it again, you can also automate this process in front. So by commenting hashtag scheduling, I've created some rules on the back end where upon this comment getting added, we're going to add the scheduling tag. So when it gets moved to the operations inbox, we know what it's going to be about. I've also added a comment for more context and then automatically we'll move that to the operations inbox. So what previously would have taken three to four separate actions where that's forwarding it, filing it to the right folder and then looping in an internal teammate through Slack, Teams or a separate email can all be done with a single comment being added to this master copy. Now looking at the operations inbox, here is that conversation ready for the operations team to take over and schedule this shipment. A quick note here as well is if I expand all of this, we can see the audit trail of this conversation, which builds accountability and also shows you the full message journey. So one of the logos that Teresa showed in the 
um, slide deck earlier was excess forwarding. And they were actually able to reduce their email volume by 80%, which is also equal to 725 emails per day, thanks to some of the features that we just saw in front. All right, hopping back into my sales inbox and the assigned section, we're, you know, we just saw the news case where we're evenly distributing quote request and the workflow in front around that. However, now let's imagine a contract freight news case. So this is the scenario where a teammate may have a book of business or a book of customers, and that can be divided via the geographical region that these customers are in or the revenue of specific accounts. So looking at this conversation from Jimmy here, you'll notice that there's a VIP tag that's been added. And also this message was assigned to me via a role for account owner. So I'm matching Jimmy's account to the account owner. Um, instead of that round robin rule that we previously saw. So you may be wondering how did Front know Jimmy's VIP and also that I'm the account owner? Well, we actually have enabled on the back end a CRM sync. So we're able to bring in our contact data into Front and we can now have a full 360 of our customer, in this case, Jimmy. I can see details about Jimmy. I can scroll down and see all of the different conversations that Jimmy has had with my team across a series of different inboxes. And then below this, I can see the notes that have been passed on. So this note was left by me, but if my other teammates like Patrick were to leave a note too, I could see that and it would live here. So this is great for when you're handing off work to another teammate. Now clicking into the accounts tab, this is where I can access critical data. So for example, here I can see account information, namely the account owner is listed as Cindy. And that was how I was assigned this email. And then the revenue here is also over a million dollars. And so that's how the VIP tag was applied to this conversation. Now, beyond these field-based triggers, such as adding the VIP tag based on the account revenue, we also have some time-based triggers as well that really help build guardrails around your emails and your response times to your customers. So you can see the SLA breach tag has been applied to this conversation. This was all an automated process built out with a rule in front. So essentially, after the hour mark, we want to tell the assignee that this is an SLA warning and it's about to breach to urge them to respond to the customer. For my scenario, I've set the SLA breach time to be two hours. And after that two hour time is hit, we're actually going to change the warning sign to a breach sign. And then we're going to notify, make this SLA actionable by notifying my manager, who is Teresa. So now Teresa has been notified. She can jump into this conversation. She can reassign it to someone else on the team. She can add a comment or reply to it herself. So this really helps you build those guardrails and make them actionable as well. Now in front, we also have the ability to manage out of the office and shifts. So it's as simple as coming up here to my icon, toggling myself as out of office. And what this means for your workflows is if Jimmy, for example, responds here, but I'm out of the office. We're not going to open it back up in my inbox. Instead, we're going to open it back up as unassigned for someone else on the team to come take it over and respond to it. So another logo we saw earlier was MNX Global, and they were actually able to bridge the gap between their teams in Florida and the Netherlands, as well as a 24-7 call center in Ohio by using these out of office toggling and shifts that you can create in front. They've been able to ensure that all messages are taken care of and that there are no trapped messages when it comes to responding back to their customers. All right, so we just saw messages being properly routed, assigned, and categorized as well. So now we're going to move to the part where we see how we can respond faster in front thanks to the native collaboration features we have available to us. So still looking at the same email from Jimmy, I see his question asking if I can give him ca his carrier confirmation. So this is actually a standard request that I get in day out, day in and day out. And so I, when I come to respond to this message, I can actually leverage some of the message templates that my manager has inputted for the team. In particular, I'll use this carrier confirmation message template. So you may have noticed I previously toggled myself as out of office. So I'm actually wrapping up the end of my day and I need to tap in Ash who leads the um, after hours team to come and keep a close eye on this. 
So these comments are actually internal, meaning your customers will never see the back and forth that are happening between you and your teammates. As you can see, Ash just joined the conversation and she can respond directly in this master copy. So here she said, of course, and now Ash will be taking over this and responding back to Jimmy. So with these drafts as well, they are shareable by, they're shared amongst the entire team. That means Ash can come in and help me co-author and finish up this draft before sending it out. And when it comes time to send it out, Ash can actually toggle between different types of channels and senders based on what the preference is for your team. So with this collaboration feature built directly into Front, you never have to leave Front to chat with your teammates, whether that's through Teams or Slack or a separate email, it's all done on Front. So you spend less time on the process and more time ensuring that your customers have the best experience possible. All right, let me jump into the operations inbox now and let's talk about this um, request for an update by Pierre. So Pierre here is requesting an update on this particular shipment ID. My shipment data is stored in an external TMS as is the case with many of our logistics companies. So actually in front, we have the ability to use context links, which are great because they link directly out to your external system and can pull in data that's important to you and useful for the response. So for example, here, this context link is able to pull in the status as well as the owner of this particular shipment. Now, this is great because I no longer need to copy and paste this ID, go to my external TMS, search for it and then bring that information back into front because all of this data is at my fingertips. You can also open directly up into that context, um, context link and see the particular shipment. Another great thing about these context links is that you can view all the conversations that have happened in regards to that um, shipment so that you can get a full picture of what's going on and what communications have been done. Now, these context links are not just for TMS. We've seen it being used for carrier payments, carrier identities, essentially anything that has an ID can leverage these context links. So now you can spend less time searching and more time focused on the customer. Now to take this one step further, you can actually build a custom plugin on front. So we were talking about this right side. So here's an example of a custom plugin that we have. And so front, has an open API allowing you to integrate your systems that you use the most. And for example, here, this plugin is matching off of our shipment ID, and this is an iframe into my TMS. So I can now see all of this information about my carrier, the origin, the destination, and then I can also build actions upon that. So for example, the ability to draft an update based off of the information that we're pulling in from my TMS system. So as you can see here, I have all of this dynamically pulled in information and can just go ahead and send this off to Pierre, giving him an update on his shipment. So the sender team actually uses front features and integrations and have been able to save three and a half thousand hours per month. They have their internal operation systems connected, and this has increased their team's efficiency and output. All right, so before we go to the analytics piece, we're going to look at an SMS channel and the use case that we previously discussed. So with Front, you can bring in your SMS channel. We really are the omni-channel solution for all of your customer communications. In this example here, we're texting our carrier partner. There's a few texts coming back and forth about a driver on the dispatch team and a delay that's occurring. With Front, you're able to reply directly in the Front platform to this SMS. I can also leverage any of the Front features that we saw before, such as leaving a comment or at mentioning my teammates for help on specific SMS threads. I can also go ahead and assign it to an individual and categorize it. And so the great thing about bringing, for example, SMS into Front is that you can now draw analytics from it. But another piece about it is that we reduce the siloed systems that are a part of your workflow. So instead of this text living on someone's individual phone, it's now viewable by the entire team. And so this omni-channel solution is really game changer for man managing inbound messages, especially at scale. All right, so let me now 
go to the analytics piece, which is towards the end of our demo. So with Front, we saw all of those different tools such as tagging and assigning and routing. And the great thing is that we can actually extrapolate powerful analytics and data based on all of those actions that we took. And these analytics are not available with your email providers today. At best, we've seen it being a guess with no hard data to back up these metrics or a very manual and tedious process that's time consuming and requires tallying up different messages in your inboxes. But with Front, we have out of the box seven, seven different report offerings we also allow you the ability to slice and dice these reports however you'd like. So for example, you can <clears throat> filter it by the date range, by the teammate, or any additional filters as well. Um, I won't go through all seven of these reports today, but let me highlight a few of my favorites, starting off with that team performance report. And so with this team of performance report across the top, we have our main metrics. So this helps me give at first glance what's going on here. I can see message volume. If I ever have questions about any metrics that I'm seeing, I can actually click into it and I can expand all of the conversations that made up this particular metric. So I now have an easy view into what was used to calculate it. Aside from the message volume, you can also see reply time and a series of other metrics as well. Beneath that, we have a heat map of our busiest times. This is super interesting because it helps inform your team about staffing. So for example, here I can see my top times are Thursdays at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So this may inform me, maybe I need to have more people staffed on this particular shift to handle the new conversations that are coming in at this time. And finally, beneath that, we have our team performance report. So it breaks down all of my teammates by row and it gives all these metrics about them as well as these additional ones here to really help you identify any key players at the company, anyone who's going above and beyond. And also I've seen this table being shared amongst the entire team to really build camaraderie and kind of like this competitive nature with providing the best service possible. The next report that I'm going to highlight here is the tags report. And so in the demo, we saw how you can manually tag, how you can build rules to auto tag, and all of that can be extrapolated with data so that I can understand topically what kind of conversations are coming into my shared inboxes. I can see, for example, the volume of those conversations and the reply time that it's taking my team to get back to the customers. So this really helps you understand trends in real time, identify any hot topics. In this case, it's that a lot of our shipments are delayed, which is bad, so that can inform me, maybe we need to have more training around how to prevent delayed shipments from going out and maybe I can build out more message templates to respond to these particular conversations. Now, the last report I'm going to highlight is our customer satisfaction report. And so this is great because it really closes that feedback loop. I can embed a survey at the end of my emails that prompt my customers to come in and answer a quick satisfaction report. And all of that gets aggregated into this report here. I can see comments that have been left and I can also see how customer satisfaction has changed over time. And this report really helps me foster and build strong relationships with my customer. Now beneath that, we have our accounts data. So this is perfect for that contracted freight or managed transportation service offering use cases. I can break down my different shipper and carriers by account and I can see who needs more or less support based on the metrics and data that I have available. When it comes time for example, an annual business review, I now have data points to back up the level of service that I've been providing for these particular shippers and carriers. We truly are believers in the fact that you can improve what you don't measure. And so with Front, we arm you with all the data that you need in these seven different reports. And we also have an API endpoint allowing you to pull all this data out and visualize it in any way that you wish to do that's beneficial to your business. So with that, we are unfortunately at the end of our demo, but you've been able to see how with Front, you're able to get rid of email clutter. You can improve response times <clears throat> and eliminate missed messages. With analytics and automated assignments, as well as SLAs, you can now hold your teams accountable and you can streamline internal processes to ultimately increase revenue and the output of all your teams. So 
that brings us to the end here. Let me stop sharing. Um, I'm going to review the chat to see what questions we have, but also wanted to leave this time for an open Q&A session. So please drop any questions into, into the chat and I'm happy to answer them or provide clarity. And I also need a sip of water. <laughs> Feel free to also, if you have the capability to, um, go off mute um, and ask your question directly. Don't be shy. <laughs> awesome. We have a comment here from John. Appreciate the comment there. And uh, we're excited for your friend journey. Yeah, if there are no questions to any comments, anything that you thought was super cool in the demo, appreciate just sharing that and always love hearing what our customers or even prospective customers have to say. All right, Cindy, we had one question come over from uh, Matt. How involved is the setup for the message templates using the external TMS that you showed during context links? Do you have to map individual fields? Sure. Um, I can follow up Matt with like a with more details over email, but short answer is we're using our um, open API. And so there's an endpoint that allows you to draft an email update. And it's as simple as writing what the static parts are and then putting the dynamic variables in between in order to fill in the gaps for drafting an update. So those are particular API endpoints. I can show you what that looks like. Um, and that also requires, like that particular TMS plugin required building the custom plugin as well. So it all depends on your systems and you know what endpoints you guys have available that can be integrated with us. So having a solid answer to the exact involvement and setup is, is kind of hard to do right now. Okay, Glenn and Razy, yes, we'll be sharing the recording after this call. Um, Laura, you said that you liked that you can automate based on discussion comments and hashtags. Yes, there's so much automation in front. We have a robust rules engine. So I'm always learning new little tips and tricks here and there for how to make workflows even more streamlined. So I'm glad you like that. Um, once you sign up for front, will there be a more in-depth training? We have an onboarding team that is able to help you build out your specific workflows. Um, and aside from that, like John mentioned, we have Front Academy. So that goes through all the different roles and how to build them, how to manage your inboxes, everything that you would need to know on using Front. Well, and Cindy, we had a couple SMS questions come through the Q&A instead of chat. Um, what are mm -hmm. some of the third-party SMS service providers that you integrate with? And then specifically, which SMS provider um, did you demo with? Yeah, so I was demoing with Twilio SMS um, for the full list of third party service providers. I will search that up and find all the exact names, um, but the one that I was demoing was Twilio. Yeah, if you go on front.com, we have an integrations page that lists all the integrations that we have. So feel free to browse through that and take a look there. And as a follow-up, does Twilio support MMS? Yes, it does. So you can send videos or images as well. Uh, the number one SMS solution suggestion would be to use Twilio. It is super powerful, so you can build in some of your automations if you wish, but also it integrates perfectly into front.
Okay, the next question is from Osher. How, is, how does auto assignment work? Each new order is being assigned to who is available or does it rotate? Um, so auto assignments work, they're based off of the one that you set up. So for example, I had round robin set up, meaning it would assign to each person on the team in a cyclic order, as long as they're not out of the office or off shift. Um, but we also have other assignment rules as well, such as load balancing, which can take into account, maybe you have a limit set per individual. So once you hit that limit, do not assign to them. So it really depends. It's flexible. You also saw me auto assign through an account owner. So depending on how it's configured, you can have auto assignments firing in whichever way. I don't see any other additional comments or questions. Um, thank you everyone for your attention and the great engagement that we had in this chat. As usual, um, we will be around if you guys have any follow-up questions, but for the time being, um, this concludes our webinar for today and we hope to see everyone soon. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.